Snooze or lose. Oh. Nice. Welcome back everyone, this week we're at Somerville. Um, so in the morning we decided to do the Millennium Tract um, because sometimes it's fucked and full of water and we didn't want to be like super tired trying to do this in the afternoon and obviously there's like the whole, you know, that hurricane barrel heat wave thing going on right now so it's like 30 something out plus humidity although the humidity actually wasn't too bad so whilst we're going through it's like yeah it's all right there's a lot of water as you can see but have a good fun take take the rocks nice nice easy lines good fun though um yeah going through here really made me realize uh that Perhaps the uh, hard enduro race is, is not is definitely not for me. Uh, <laughs> not yet. I, I need to improve on a lot of my skills, and uh, coming along Millennium Track really reminds me why why I'm I'm not good enough. And also without Moose, I'm I'm just basically sat there wondering, am I going to get a puncture? Am I going to get a puncture? Like constantly. <laughs> so um, right now I'm with Lucas and uh, Rob. Uh, I've been racing with Rob a lot. I've never actually ridden a trail with him before, but he happened to be out riding Somerville and I saw him in the car park and he didn't want to do the normal side of uh, Somerville's and wanted to come over and run Millennium with us. So I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, come on then, come with us. Um, this was a mistake. Uh, this is like, uh, I, I was trying to point them to go down the bottom because there was like a, a path that I saw earlier, but yeah. Yeah, we got to turn around, go down that bottom line. Yeah, we but, gotta go over there. But I think so Rob saw a, be a better down. line <laughs> to get down there sooner, but it, it, it didn't pay it didn't pay off. <laughs> like, ah shit, now he's stuck. Probably should go give him a hand. It's like, oh what what's happening here? I'm stuck on that. Wiggle the bike around. It's, it's, it's one of those situations where the front wheel's now stuck down and you gotta get it to immediately go up, but yeah, that's not that's not happening anytime soon. I see all that smoke, I'm oh, sorry, smoke, steam pouring off the four stroke. It's just so right, we're hot. Good, we're good, I think. And there's just so much water everywhere. I, on the other hand, I'm not going to do what he did. I'm going to go all the way around. So just turn my bike around. I still can't do a pivot. Luke was like, do a pivot. I'm like, absolutely not. Because <laughs> uh, that's not going to happen. So like, this is the sort of section that just makes me think, I can't do a hard enduro race. I can't, I can't even ride through this simple trail i get stuck on the rock i'm like oh, i can i was looking like do i go left and then up or do i just go over this rock and i was like oh it kind of looks not like not like a big deal and then um yep now now i'm fucking beached it's like oh god damn it <laughs> gives me a gives me a tug tugs me up over that i'm coughing my lungs out because i'm tired and hot it's not too bad to get through here so slow. The progress is so slow. <laughs> yeah, made it through. <laughs> we haven't even made it to the Millennium Track yet. We're still on the um, ATV course to go over there. So we're almost there, right. We made, we made it there now. So I, I take over for a little bit at the front. The trail gets a little bit more gnarly, but it's good fun. At least there's not so much water along the actual Millennium Tract, which is good it's just rocks rocks and logs and stuff but it's good suspension felt really good there was times where i i felt so one thing i noticed um or like i've reflected on now is that um in the past after a couple of hours my wrists were killing me and i think it's because like you know you're just getting like battered and shaking around and, and whatever and it's like the suspension is not really absorbing stuff very well but Right now, after after the upgrades, I, I'm feeling feeling great, absolutely grand. Like there's nothing wrong with my wrists at all, so I, I'm feeling very happy about that. This is a fun little hill climb. Don't fuck it up, though. Blech, up we go. Yeah, nice and smooth. And then I like ride off into a bush over here or something like that. <laughs> so then Rob takes over for a little bit. But 
Yeah, it's, it's, oh, you see the rocks? I, I should probably get some moose. Uh, I feel like it would be good to get them and see what it feels like to ride with moose and stuff like that, especially before the cord. Um, I know there's still quite a few months, but time's starting to run out and uh, I need to start preparing for that. A lot of water today, you can see. It's, usually that's quite, quite empty, but we made it through. We slip there. And Lucas is coming through. Hey, nice. Nice. Le going along the trail a little bit more, it's just like nice riding, just bumpy riding. And then I managed to get myself stuck behind this tree. I'm like, oh, for God's sake. Let's try and do a pivot over. That's my best attempt. Now I'm stuck and I'm like, you know what? It's so hot, I can't be bothered to try and do it. And the ground is super soft <laughs> and I'm sort of semi beach, so I just pull the bike over. Just take a nice gentle ride through here. Look at this beautiful trail. Absolutely beautiful. We were pretty quick. We managed to do the whole there and back in an hour and 20 engine time. Um, I think it was probably not, we didn't rest too much. Maybe 10, 15 minutes total resting. Right. And like faff around pulling bikes better and stuff. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better than my pivot. And keep going. Some, some really cool little features. I wonder if this uh, bridge is going to get chewed up anymore. It's, it's still it's still here. It's still pretty good. Right. This trail is like one of those trails where you can make things super hard. Like I've gone up the left of that before. Um, and if it's raining or it, like wet, like actually like super wet, this, this whole place becomes like a completely different experience. But right now it's, I would say it's quite dry, even though the water is high and then this is what it's kind of like when it's wet. So it's like, bloody hell, look at this rear. That's not what I want to see. <laughs> it's like, oh Jesus, I don't want to get stuck on that. <laughs> I can feel like the rear just like wiggling around as I'm going up there. And now I'm just sliding down the rock. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you can see like, it, it could get very slippery very quickly. Slippery, maybe? Slippery very quickly <laughs> on a on a wet day, but it's thirty odd something degrees out. Everything is absolutely baking. I'm so glad I'm riding a two stroke. I'm not really feeling the heat, but when I, I park next to Rob, I can feel the heat absolutely pouring off his four stroke. It's absolutely brutal. Some of these things I'm getting like there was a lot of sorry. I was gonna say some of these things I get a little confused by, and I, I want to take it a little bit more carefully because. This is the sort of thing I was worried about. Like, ah, oh, no, now he's stuck. We don't want that to happen, and you don't like you don't know what happens, and like who's been through here or what's going on. So we're we're typing this out. One, two, three. Maybe he could have gone through it if he absolutely pinned it, but you know what? Why? Yeah, why don't you have an electric bike? Have a reverse gear. But yeah, it's like, what? Why? Why risk it? And then towards the end of the Millennium Tract. It, it, it smooths out and gets super, super nice. The suspension felt amazing through here. I was super, super happy with it. I wonder if having the moose would add like a more dead feeling as well, like to, to like reduce the vibrations more or does the dead feeling add vibrations? Because uh, obviously it's not as bouncy, so to speak, and like the air won't absorb as much. Whee, bouncy, bouncy, jumpy, jumpy. Good fun. I don't know. Like, I'll look into it. I don't even know what what moose I need to get, what inserts to get for my my tires. Because I thought, well, an enduro medium should be easier to get a, a, whatever the, the ones that Michelin make. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, for the rear, the uh, the IRC, uh, I'm I'm not sure. I have to look that one up because it's quite thin. It's like 110. So we're on our way back now, and it has some pretty cool. Uh, things that you come down them and you don't even think about it but going back up them is like ooh, not so great i didn't take that angle very well and i got my front wheel stuck behind another route but i've done it worse in the past <laughs> i've done it better in the past but i feel like in the past it there was more mud cover so it wasn't as hard now it's it's, it's definitely it's getting harder and harder each year but a uh, bit of time bit of patience and, and the guys pointing which way to go not so bad yep Yep, trying to get back out of that thing, we straight into another tree. The thing that we got uh, had to play hard enduro through. I say hard enduro, moderate enduro. 
get through eventually. I'm exhausted. I, I can't. I'm not very technical at this riding. I struggle on rocks. I struggle to do any technical maneuvers. I need to go and practice. I missed filming that for myself. It was so deep. You can see, like, and it's so soft. It's like, oh, Jesus. Don't stop. Don't stop and don't get stuck, because that's going to suck. Made it through, made it through. I reckon that's another one of them get stuck in it if you don't fucking just pin it. Because that's what I did. I was, I could feel like the ground becoming super soft and I was like, oh shit! So I just pinned it. Yeah, I'm so wet right now. My ass was soaking wet. it's all dirty. I'm going to get fucking... Yeah, whatever that is. Amoebas in my ass. That's a good name for a metal song. <laughs> yeah. So fucking deep. Everything is so deep. Everything is so wet. Um, I'm very wet after that ride. And it was like, oh, I'm so. My ass was so wet from the water spraying everywhere. It was getting kind of uncomfortable. You know, hot. Yep. Just drop the bike. I didn't do it very well. <laughs> That's how you do that one, like that lean over spinny turn, right? Look at the okay. messy my bike is. Oh, absolute filth. So we went up with uh, Brian and Arthur. We've had lunch now. We, we popped back, had lunch. And now we're just riding Somerville. It's a little bit of a mess. Apparently they got stuck in some swamp. They were stuck in there for over an hour and a half. So uh, go check out Arthur and all Brian's stuff. And I'm sure there'll be some videos or photos of their misery. <laughs> what are you doing, Brian? Get over the log! <laughs> Goes out of wheelie. Ah, much, much cleaner. Boing. Ah, Lucas is dark. <laughs> He's helped me enough that day. Yeah. So, uh, Rob and I, we were just holding back a little bit, and Lucas, um, to let Brian get a bit ahead and then we can play a Razzit, catch him up. I always find, like, my Somerville, uh, Somerville Millennium videos are a little longer because there's two really cool tracks, right? And it turns into, like, Maybe I could do it as a double video, but I, don't know, I feel like that's just spamming shit. I'll just do it as one. But yeah, me and Rob, it was really good fun to like try and keep pace with him. I feel like I was doing pretty good. Um, yeah, it's, it, it was really good to like just go for a good raz. It was a little confusing at first. Um, we were we were struggling to find the trail that Brian wanted to do, and he didn't want to go to swamps. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> Uh, I was looking at the hill, um, because there was, used to, there was like a hill, I don't think we're supposed to climb up it, but whether we're supposed to climb up it or not, there's now a tree fallen across it, so we couldn't do it even if you wanted to. Um, so we turned around, we tried to find this trail, uh, fuck knows where it is, but like, Rob and I were still just hanging back, and there we razz it. So I managed to do something really annoying. You saw like all the stupid shit we've been doing, all the stuff we fell over, rocks, trees, all that sort of stuff. No problem, no no issues with the bike. And then, um, on one of those turns where we were just turning around because we we're trying to find this trail that Brian's on about, um, I turn around and I'm watching the other guys ride off, so I'm not paying attention to where I go. And I ride straight into a stump and fucking bend my uh, gear lever back. So my gear lever's all like bent upwards and like, God damn it! I just got a new one, like, a month ago, and now i fucked it already. <sighs> oh, well, whatever. Nothing over span, I can't fix and bend it back. So we get here, and we're like, where the hell did they go? He was doing everything in his power to stay out of the fog. And now he's used all his powers to turn himself fucking Wait, invisible. So we don't know where he was, and we lost Brian and Arthur for a while. And so, like, we're just like, fuck it, we'll just go ride trails for a bit. So... I'm just going to put some video up of uh, Rob and I and, and Lucas and I'm going to stop talking for a bit. Let the bikes take over.
So we've reached Very that cool. little rock face thing that we saw at the start. Um, this was the first time I went up it, so I didn't really know what I was doing, and I, I just kind of went up and then rode along there, followed where Rob went. Uh, I just don't do it anywhere near as gracefully as he does. <laughs> and, nope, fuck that up. Well, that was the first time I tried oh, okay. to do that. <laughs> didn't work out so well. And then later on, uh, we... We fuck around on that for a little bit, and we're very unsuccessful, and we don't really achieve anything, and everything else is too scary. Um, and then we followed Brian again, and it's like, oh, I see how we got back to this swamp. So we went forwards, and they all went hard right. So, well, there we go. This place is so much fun to play. There's so much here to learn. It's just a shame it's like over two hours away, but yeah. Anyways. I think that'll do it for this week. See ya.